What do llamas? Beautiful artwork. And wild things have in common. Well, they are all interests shared and loved by this northern Michigan couple, Brian and Robin Metzger of Houghton Lake. Brian and Robin's love for the great outdoors is what drew them together. They met while Brian was purchasing supplies at a local arts and craft shop where Robin worked. Both were accomplished artists and soon their relationship grew and they were married. Even their marriage reflected their unique love for each other and the great outdoors. Brian and Robin became husband and wife by exchanging vowels in a local trout stream. That's right, a local trout stream. Followed by a honeymoon of fishing the beautiful Upper Peninsula. In a rural section of Roscommon County, Michigan Magazine stopped by the Metzger's homestead to talk more about their artistic venture they call Wild Things. It's a combination of Brian's and Robin's artistic talents that resulted in a limited edition line of wonderful outdoor sketches along with a collection of original comic art called the S.O.L., which stands for Severely Out of Luck. The unique collection documents and portrays the outdoor enthusiast in various unexpected yet all too common predicaments. The collection is also designed as heat transfers for do-it-yourselfers, along with the specific coloring directions. This in turn has spawned another venture for this talented duel, the t-shirt and mug heat transfer business. Brian and Robin told us that they both love art and the outdoors ever since they were very young. And the sequence of events that led them into their current situation came all too naturally. Well, it all got started uh, a long time ago in grade school when I used to get in trouble for, uh, for doing all this uh, drawing. Only then it wasn't as, as good as it is now. It was more like uh, dragsters and the <laughs> typical kid uh -huh. thing, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, never really got serious about it until about a year ago. And uh, I drew the picture of the deer looking up at the branch for a friend of mine okay. um, for a Christmas present. Everybody saw it and they loved it. Can you do more of those? Yeah, I can do more of that. Sure. And it went from there and I did a series of 11 more. You're a pencil artist, right? Right. Okay. And Robin, she is the lady who does the painting. Right. She's, yeah. uh, she was into painting long before I even become uh, acrylic art uh, on fabric. Uh -huh. And I did the pencil drawings, but as diverse as this is in itself, yeah. um, with something for everybody, there's the baby. Yeah, this um, is like Bambi. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. in, in the show, she was sniffing a flower. Yeah. The mouse is cute, yeah. um, princess of the forest. Yeah. And within all of this, there's something for everybody. Now, Robin is an artist. She is a painter, a painter of of uh, live uh, portraits uh, or uh, landscapes or what? Portraits, landscapes, a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, I've been painting for about 18 years. I started taking some classes in 79. Uh -huh. I started teaching toll painting classes with oils. Then got into the portraits, the fabric uh -huh. painting, and just really just love it and yeah. into all of it. Yeah. And then when Brian and I met, we started uh, adding color to some things. And I met him when he came into Arnie's to get all of his originals framed. And it kind of went, <laughs> kind of went from there. So. Uh huh. But uh, been doing a lot of painting for a lot of years. What a what a combination! I'll tell you what. What a collaboration you guys have got uh, together here. Well, who comes up with the idea for uh, the transfers or or, or whatever? Is well, it's a it's a joint effort. I mean, joint it's, effort. It's, it's it's a consolidation. I mean, yeah. I've come up with the SOL collection, and then um, you know both of us will sit down and go, okay, what do we need now? Do this, do that. Uh, she'll say, okay, change this because you you're way out of line. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. all right, I'll do that. Uh -huh. you know, I'll change this and yeah. change that, and, and it helps. I mean, I I like to draw uh, opinion and, and advice, uh -huh. and ultimately that leads to I mean, two heads are better than one. Right, you know, right, mm -hmm. certainly. Mm -hmm. did, did you uh, have art in school, take art in school or anything? I didn't take any art in school, no. Yourself? No formal training. <laughs> and so this is all kind of ad lib, well, I mean, you know, just... Uh, Everyone has all. it right here. Yeah. The mind's eye is yeah. what helps you put, yeah. put your eye, your hand to this. I mean, it's... What's your favorite work? I mean, what what do you like? To, what medium do you like to work in? I really enjoy the oils. The oils. I enjoy the portrait painting, but uh, 
about equally the, the t-shirt paint yeah. to, to see your artwork on somebody's walking down the road, you know, <laughs> yeah or coming in yeah. the store with their your artwork right you know, wearing it is, yeah. it's nice it's good feeling and if they get a kick out of it and make them smile then that's even better so and you have your own little workshop right here in your garage you've conformed this to, or converted it into a workshop uh for uh, what tell the folks out there what you do here well, from start to finish, all except for a few things, uh, it's designed on the table, okay? It's, uh, well, actually, it's thought of first, maybe in your sleep or whatever, <laughs> okay. but uh, it's designed on the table, and then if we like it, and, and we do a few different ways, you know, show them to people before they actually go to market. Um, do you like this? And, oh, yeah, that's good, or whatever. Then if uh, we want to put it in a transfer form, which would be pressed onto shirts, then I send it out to a corporation out of Ohio, and they, in fact, uh, create the transfer. And then they send it back to me, and then it's everything from there. I, I press it, you know, I buy the shirts, shirts, right, and press it on our presses, uh -huh. and then they go out to shows or uh, wholesale to businesses right. throughout Michigan. Yeah. Have hats and t-shirts and sweatshirts and right. all mugs them. and... Hey, how about that? Yeah, and they're all based on either the character or all these. What we have here is one of the designs, um, hopefully for the next uh, edition of the book that's going to come out. And this is called the SOL Construction Company, <laughs> uh, appropriately named. And uh, Robin's doing the uh, toll painting on it right now. The little character follows the other characters in in the yeah, uh, sports. sports. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. And now now he becomes a tradesman. Uh-huh. And, uh, and it what, just goes on and goes on. It goes on. I, I and it can go on to anything and everything. Uh, so publication number three could be... Uh, <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. Whatever you want it to be. Uh, there it could depends. Be, there, there it depends could be on public could, uh, response yeah. and, and what the public wants at the time yeah. and how the trends change. There could be families. It could yeah. be. Well, yeah. He could get married. <laughs> there you go. Or not. Well, you could make it a Brian and a Robin story. There you go. Hey, what would be any neater than that? Yeah. I mean, how it all got started. You have llamas here, too. We do. Yeah. And uh, you raise them and, uh, for the wool and so on, and you have uh, groups come out, students come out uh, from school. Um, tell the folks a little bit about that. Well, we get a lot of calls from preschool groups or the schools. Mm -hmm. bring the kids out or to have us take mm -hmm. a llama in to the schools. Brian's been, uh, last year he was at the nursing home a couple times with llamas. Um, People really enjoy their, they're, they're a pleasant really animal. They're yeah, very, very, and very inquisitive, so uh -huh. they don't mind a good petting. Yeah. And uh, usually it's the babies, we don't really take the adults. Uh -huh. uh, if we if we can sometimes. put sometimes yeah uh, the babies are the ones that uh, people love oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is nasty, yeah but. yeah so here we are we finally uh, um, we've got uh, Brian and Robin here and uh, they have uh, collaborated together with their artwork and come up with uh, neat uh, transfers for shirts. Uh, a neat book um, publication um, with all kinds of parodies and it, it, what can I say except that uh, it has been a real pleasure to come over here and meet you folks for the first time. What would you pass on to somebody who is just getting started or has been thinking about doing what, like what you folks do? It's a lot of work. Huh? It's a lot of work but if you put your mind to it you know, you can do just about anything you want. And be careful, you know, do the research, do the marketing, everything, and uh, just keep at it. Yeah. And for the people out there that, you know, are just getting started, mm -hmm. keep at it. Well, there are a lot of don't give up. Yeah. That don't think that they can paint. That, you know, I have no artistic ability, I can't do this. But you pick up something, you know, get a beginner's book yeah. or go take a couple classes. You don't have to be able to, you know, draw to be able to paint something yeah. on a t-shirt. You have to start somewhere. And just right. The first step is to take start. Do it. To yeah. do it. Can't, never could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I like that. And you, uh, what I also enjoy about uh, meeting folks like you is that uh, you love to fish, you love the outdoors and you love to fish and we were exchanging some stories about uh, where we fish for walleye and different lakes and so on and it <laughs> seems like I've been passing by all these lakes on uh, my way up to somewhere else and not getting anything so I'm going to have to try some of th these uh, lakes that I pass by that you were so right, right. fortunate to stop at and catch a lot of walleye. It, what can I say except that uh, it has been a real pleasure to come over here and meet you folks for the first time and 
uh, it looks to me like the publication and the t-shirts, the hats, and your artwork is uh, well on its way. And we'd like to say thank you so much for being part of Michigan Magazine, and we wish you continued success. Brian, thank you. And Robin, we thank you.